today I am going to be starting the eagerly anticipated, highly requested posing tips videos. I've decided to make this into a series as if I tried, I actually did try and film a whole video about this and I'm not joking, I sat here and spoke for maybe an hour and a half because there's so many different parts to the video. So I decided to make this into a series, this is a Tashi's Posing Tips series and I'm going to kick it off with the most requested video I get which is how to pose to make your lips look bigger in a photo because you guys ask this all the time, like so much. So today that's what I'm going to be telling you today but stay tuned for more of these shorter posing tips videos and leave your requests for videos for posing tips down below. So if you want ones how to make your butt look good, I think I'm going to film that one next. Or if you want one, how to make your legs look longer, how to make you look taller, how to make you look shorter, how to make you look thinner, um, how to show off a certain outfit, like that's just the ones that come to the top of my head first of all. But leave me any requests down below. But for today, let's get started into this video. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is actually nothing to do with posing, but it's about how you actually like wear you, how you wear your lipstick. So I always will wear a lip liner. I always wear a lip liner if I want my lips to look big in a photo. I am going to show you with and without lip liner so you don't have to do this but if you want it to be even more of a difference then definitely wear lip liner. My current favourite lip liner, it changes all the time, but my current favourite one which I do really like and I do think it does make your lips look bigger is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in Sandstorm. So it looks like this. I personally think the reason why this one makes your lips look a bit bigger is because it's fairly cool toned. So when you line your lips, and yes, I do overline my lips, as I think most of us do. On my lips, I have almost like a, I feel like where my lip finishes, there's a little border where it's still lip, because it's still like lip, but there's no color. Like my color of my lip isn't like a strong defined line, I don't think. Okay, so this is my lips with nothing on them at all, so no lip liner or anything. And you can see what I'm talking about, that I feel like it's kind of almost like a white border that I can fill in with lip liner, which will obviously make them look bigger because I'm putting more colour to the edges. Um, so definitely that is one thing to do if you want your lips to look bigger in a photo, is definitely use a lip liner. Secondly, obviously going into the posing. So this is going to be different for everyone, but for me personally, if I have my head down like this, or if I'm just speaking to you straight like this, my lips look pretty small. Like you can barely see them, right? I have like no lips. And I get so many like shitty comments in videos I've done like this before where people are like, oh my god, like look at how they compare to our photos. And it's like, do people think you walk around posing your lips like on a general day-to-day -day basis? Obviously not. I'm speaking right now, my head is down, it's lower, I'm not posing my lips for a photo. It makes such a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to put my phone next to me now just because I think that's going to be easier for you to see. So if I open up my camera, so you can see, if I was to take a photo like this, so like this, you can see like my lips look very small. Like, that's such a rank photo, <laughs> very small. But if I take a photo like this, you can see my lips look very big, they look very full. So did you see what I did there? So if I'm, if I'm from above, like this, then small lips. If I move the camera down, so if I move it down, lower angle, you can see my lips. So for me personally, my lips look way bigger if I have the camera angle low. You may have also seen something I do a lot is a certain pose I do, which is like this. <laughs> Basically, I do this not only because it's a low angle, but also it makes your lips look bigger. Look at the difference, like from this, and then, like, look at the difference in my lips, like for real, like look at that, lips, very thin, that, lips, very big, not very big, but big, you know? like. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a massive difference in how you pose. Another good one is to put your fingers in your lips. So like, see look, big lips. 
I personally don't really like this pose anymore, but you can do that if you like. This one is always quite good if you like put your thumb kind of like in your top lip and then push out your bottom lip. Let that down. I am this is such a weird video, right? So push the top lip up and push your bottom lip down. So you're like this. Um but you can see like lips look big. This is always also a good one if you put like your so you're like an L shape like this, you're kind of leaning on your hand and then use this one to like play with your lip. So you can see like they look big here, you know, because I'm I'm pushing them out. I'm not saying this is gonna work for everyone because obviously it depends what shape lips and stuff you have. Just for me personally, my lips are like actually really full, they're just kind of inside my mouth. Like if I just relax my mouth and kind of let it sit in, let me come closer. So if I just relax my mouth and let it kind of sit inwards, like Then, if you like, just just do a few exercises. And then again, also with the head. So if I, even if I had them out. weirdest video I think I've ever made and I know I'm gonna get so much hate for this video like oh my god what a basic bitch I don't care you guys want this video I'm gonna give it to you um so yeah even if I have my lips pushed out like I'm spitting everywhere if I have my head down still pretty small So you see like it makes such a difference how you pose your face like isn't like for real like it's so people just don't understand that lighting and posing and how you move your face and how you position your face and stuff like that makes such a difference like eh, yeah you know <laughs> I'm gonna go back I feel a bit close so yeah that is that is my biggest tips so what was that maybe three so lip liner definitely um, angle of the camera you need to find this yourself because yours might be different to mine, but mine is low. So try low because most people don't try low because of the whole double chin thing. And if you're worried about a double chin, put your hand there. Go low, but put your hand there. I do it all the time. So you, you can go low, but because your hand's like kind of holding your chin, it will never look like a double chin because you're kind of holding it there. And um, so if you're worried about double chin syndrome, then just put your hand there, you know? Um, if you've got like an amazing jaw and you don't have double chin anyway, then just go for low. Like, why would you not? Like, it would look amazing. Um, but that is just for me. Like, my angle is better for my face, lower. That's just that's just how it is for me. That's for me. If you've got different angles, then let me know what works for you because what works for you might work for someone else watching this video right now. So that'll be helpful. Um, and then lastly, how you position your lips. Like, don't just be like. Mm -hmm because obviously they're gonna look like thin. Like, push them out, but we don't wanna be like, because that's that's not that's not cool, you know? <laughs> just doesn't really look great when you're like pouting. Like, you don't wanna pout so much. You just wanna kind of blow them out a bit. Like, just blow a bit of air behind them, loosen them up before you take a photo. Like, I, you saw that I did that. Just let them be loose and like come out. I do this sometimes, weird, I know. Just brings the circulation back to your mouth. Kind of pumps them up a bit. Um, get, get them pumped for the photo. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my lips with nothing on them at all, so no lip liner or anything. And but yeah, you can still use the same concept with obviously no lip liner on. You can totally skip that step if you're not a lip liner person or you don't like lipstick. You can do the same tips I've recommended with nothing on your lips. But I just wanted to show you them without so you can see the difference, you know? That wraps up for this video. I hope these tips were helpful. And don't forget to leave me in your comments down below what posing tips video you want to see next in this series. Um, but that is everything for today, guys. I uh, hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Work at. Yes. Yes, work at. Is this
Oh, the video's not good, please. <laughs>